Welcome. I'm often asked by those that have a religious background, specifically a Christian background, how psychomoralytics differs from a Christian psychotherapy. And therefore we have to explicate very deeply what the conceptualization of the mental health system is. In and of itself, the mental health system reduces the human person down to a soul's entity. Yes, it allows practitioners to say they're Christian and to bring spirituality into it, but only as window dressing. In essence, there can be no true Christian psychology qua mental health system. It's not possible to do. If it's attempted, there must be compromise. There must be a point where you acquiesce to the mental health conceptualization and reject the true Christian understanding of the human person. Now, psychomoralytics is not just for Christians. It's for all human persons. But Christian theology of the ancient type was built upon philosophy. They were not opposed. They are harmonious. So this work, as a true understanding of the human person, is also congruent with the biblical worldview of that human person. So this book, as the name implies, is psycho, soul deep, and moral. Moral meaning the human person has the ability and the duty to choose what is true and good. And it provides the means, the courage, the love to so accomplish that. For to be truly human means to ascend to truth, to choose the good, and to love, to be free. To live a fully human life. Now that, on the natural level, is exactly what Christianity is on the supernatural level. So I encourage you to read Psychomoralytics. Look at it as a philosophical basis for all true theology. And as well see how the mental health system intrinsically is contrary to not only any true philosophical understanding of the human person, and especially that which you derive from Western civilization, but also from any truly biblical understanding of the human person, i.e. that which we derive from 2,000 years of Christendom. Thank you very much and may peace be with you.